So let's see that. What is the force of interaction between them? <coughs> now suddenly, can we bring the concept from the finite wire to infinite wire as it is? So let the current flowing here be I1. Let the current flowing here be I2. Can you remember field due to long wire? So what about the field due to first wire at the location of second wire? Everywhere will be into the plane. I'm writing the symbols here. So what do you mean that circle here? The I2 will produce its own field. I'm, what, what is my question? What is the force experienced by the second wire due to current in the first wire? So what I should do at the location of second wire, what is the field produced by the first wire? I'm putting cross one, one I'm writing it. So how the field on the right hand side of the first wire into the plane. So let me take a small element. Length of this element be dl. Then the force of interaction df is equal to b1 i2 into dl. What direction it will be? It will be towards left. Similarly, can we assume that uh, the wire 1 is present in the field of y2? So then, how the will be like this? So, here <laughs> let me take a Now let me take a small element. So this should be how the force force on this will be this one. Fleming's left hand rule. Apply Fleming's left hand rule. Keep your open op open. Take the left hand. Put in the direction of uh, circle dot in the, in the direction of this circle dot to put pointing finger. It should be out of your screen in the mobile or laptop. Put middle finger in the direction of current. Open the thumb. Thumb will be pointing towards left. Okay, got this. So now, okay, this is like a mutual force, no? Mutual force. So what is, we can also write df is equal to what we can write. B2 I1 dl. I'm writing mutual. You see how they are equal. I can show this mathematically. Now, what is B1? What is the field due to long wire? They are long wires. Mu naught I1 2 pi d. So this should be equal to mu naught i2 2 pi d i1 dl so what is df by dl mu naught i1 i2 2 pi d df by dl mu naught i1 i2 2 pi d shall i say mutual and the two attractive force if the current is in same direction it will be attractive in nature they'll attract each other so rather than rather than force, I'll go for force per unit length. Why force per unit length? Because a long wire, no? DL, if you integrate or depend, become infinite. So the force per unit length, we define force per unit. What is the force per unit length? Mu naught I1, I2 by 2 pi D. If current is in same direction, it will be attractive. If the current is in opposite direction, if the two wires, if the current flows in opposite sense. So here let it be I1, let this be I2, then it will be repulsive. And the force per unit length you can calculate it, that same formula, the separation between them, let it be equal to D. <coughs> and I think this is what we use to define one ampere in the S in the units and dimension chapter. So the expression for this one of one ampere what pen we take help of this experiment itself. So from this experiment only we define what do you mean by one ampere. This is the force of interaction between the two wires here. Just do remember the force per unit length is what very important. Whenever long wire comes, no, we go for force per unit length. When it's a finite wire, okay, we'll directly ask you the force here. <coughs> okay, after this, next we'll take the if there is some any so how do this force will if I keep this in a long, okay, there's a long wire. I'll take a finite.